So I'm talking to Eleanor Schnur, um, who is a, describes herself as a contemporary figurative painter. She's exhibited, has her work in collections of major galleries and museums. And, and, and as far as I can make out, she's lived near and been exploring and painting the people of New York City for the last 50 years. And, and looking at her painting online is very exciting. There's, she's got lots of paintings posted, you know, photos of them. And what I see in those paintings now um, are coffee houses and cafes and pubs and rooms where people come and go a meeting for conversation, for companionship, for love, for news, for gossip, for business, happy with each other or not, often in groups, sometimes alone, even though with another. There, in that interplay of light and shadow of walls, windows, lamps of furniture, of fine and not so fine clothing and decor, a multitude of half-remembered scenes from my own adult experience. Out of time, people have always met this way over food and drink. Out of place, everywhere on earth, habitation of humans. This is a setting to, to me that identifies the human as a herd creature. And this is all done with, with her, with Eleanor's complete mastery of forms and light and shadow and textures, and composition. Uh, I, I can imagine hanging on my wall one of her paintings it would, it would say in modern language what the 40,000 years ago cave painters said to their witnesses. This is my world. This is what is important to me. <laughs> I certainly hope Eleanor's work would last that long. So um, with that, uh, Eleanor, I... <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> could you... I love what you said. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping you can um you could tell me how did you get started painting like what is it that got you into this kind of work how did it happen well originally um as a child growing up in my hometown of Sandusky Ohio um my father's cousin was a professional artist and taught at Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh and in the summertime he would come back to Sandusky and so um, I learned to paint from him, mostly in watercolor at the time, <clears throat> and then just continued on with that. Went to Cleveland Institute of Art, and after finishing there, basically came to New York City. Well, that's wonderful. So you knew you, that's, the, that's the kind of work you were going to, you, from an early age, you knew you wanted. Right, to yeah, and watercolor was a basic uh, was a basic medium of mine for many years. Okay. The irony is that when I came to New York City, New York City was just filled with people. Yes. So I followed them around and drew them and painted them and so forth, but we were in the middle of an abstract expressionist movement, <laughs> 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 and nobody was interested in the figure at all. No. So I, I was in kind of like isolation for years. <laughs> sure. That's too bad. Did, that must have felt kind of lonely, or maybe not, because you were, you were passionate about your work, so you just did it anyhow, mm -hmm. your way, I guess. Um,